How will you serve the world? What do they need that your talent can provide? So the effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. So good morning guys. So today we're going to Florence. We're gonna to go to a beach an hour outside of Florence. Right now we're stopping and we're gonna go get some food and then we'll be on our way. So we just made it to the beach. So we'll go enjoy the beach for a bit. Let's see how it goes. So after the beach, I got myself a beer, some Pringles, we're waiting on a hamburger, and I got a bracelet. So the burgers are just meat and cheese here. You don't get lettuce, tomato, or onions. But I'm gonna take a shot, ready? So this is what I'm gonna say for the next couple of days. This is the House of Forks. I'm not going to be eating there because, yeah, I mean, I do have the curiosity of how much almonds taste like here. But if you keep walking, this house is pretty huge. There's one room, two room, three room, and then the bathroom. So, we're waiting for a taxi now. I mean, there's one right there, but we're party of mine. Sio Monueve. So, we're waiting for a taxi, and yeah. It's nicer here, the street's nicer, you can like do whatever, I'm just watching for cars to not get run over, but you can do whatever you want here. It's very peaceful, very quiet, the roadway is very nice, it's beautiful. So this is, um, I think this is the province of Florence. We came to eat at this restaurant called Seven Scully Pub. My dad's Argentinian friend owns this. It's so much nicer than real, honestly. You don't see graffiti anywhere. It's all pretty, it's all nice. And this is gorgeous. The streets are well lit up. The thing here though is that people drive like crazy. So this is where we're gonna eat at. So I ordered a piña colada and the owner of the restaurant, which is friends with my dad, made me this. Let's see how tasty, good it is. So that's the, the meat. Um, that's the um, vegetable. Seriously, if you ever come to Florence, this food is divine. The place is called. Seven Sicoli Club. It's amazing. Best place in town. So the symbolism of this hog right here is that if you touch it with your right hand, this hand right here, you will come back to Florence one day in your lifetime. And the other symbolism that this has with Arkansas, and specific the University of Arkansas Go Hogs, is that the exact same statue is actually in the front of a sorority house in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Now what we're walking on right here, during the Second World War, this bridge was not bombed. All other bridges in Italy were bombed. Well, at least in this area of Florence. So 
So this this bridge has very much its significance because a general who was German loved this bridge so much that said they didn't want this bridge to be bombed. One thing that I've come to realize about Italy and all the major cities in Italy is that it's seriously a place of history, of modern history. It is just gorgeous. So let's start the day off with an adventure. Parking garage is here and not that big. We thought we could put that in there. This is not even clear the roof of the parking garage. So let's start the day off right, guys. Sorry I didn't throw the video off yesterday, I'm going to combine these two videos together and uh, I'm going to do it like that. Adventures in Italy, we got stuck in a parking garage and now we're trying to get it out. We're to get some help. It's not a vacation until you get into an adventure. Let's go! So after that adventure, we came to a train station to go to the restroom. It's right across from the only parking that we could find that would hold a big ass bus like the one that we had. <laughs> so we're gonna use the restroom and then we're gonna go to a market. Basically this market has all of last year's trending clothing here, which in America would be the trending clothing that's hitting right now in every store. So that's where we're gonna go hit. Let's go on this adventure. We literally had a conversation with two people from Colorado like for like an hour talking about college and about life and about traveling the world. Y'all, if you guys seriously want to explore new cultures and live life, because you only live it once, you seriously need to travel the world, go to new places, try the food. The food may be different, maybe different tasting. The McDonald's here, the, the sandwiches were actually better than the McDonald's back home. Why? Because the food here is actually more naturally grown. Some people may like it, some people may not, but you seriously need to travel the world if you want to live life, not stay in just one spot. One thing about Italy, like I said, was last night was there's a lot of history. And there's this train station right here, but there's a lot of history in Italy. There's a lot of stuff that you can do. This is the capital of the world for fashion and stuff, so you seriously need to get out and explore the world. So that church Evan, that you see you right take there him, take is the shaky. church de Santa Maria Novella. Yeah. Mexico, where we're not Yankees. <laughs> this is like the Mercado, but in Italian. All of last year's fashion trends and everything is here. And like I said, this is what you would call a Tianguis in Mexico, or una, una pulgueria, however you want to call it. But we're walking here. So we just bought shoes for the whole family, clothes. This polo for $15, this polo for $15, where in the United States these would cost at least 100 bucks for both. And we're in a shoe store that's most recommended, Argentina. So if you ever come to Florence or Lee or Prudente, Italia, come visit Valentina. So this is Florentine Street, Visteca Prudente. The Italians don't eat their meat well cooked and actually eat it medium rare. But it's very good. Yeah. Yeah. Back to the van so that we can go back to the house, drop off our shopping bags that we got today, 
and come back and go to explore Firenze or Florence at night again. So let's go. I also wanted to take a minute to really say thank you to everybody who's been supporting me on this um, daily vlogging journey. I know I didn't upload a vlog last night. It's because we really traveled the whole day, so there wasn't really much footage. I hope that today, you know, was a lot better. And like I said, I really thank you guys for watching the vlogs. I know I don't have a lot of subscribers or anything, uh, but my dream is to actually, you know, live off of this, you know, travel and vlog my experiences traveling the world. So I really thank you guys. So right now we're at the Piazza Michelangelo or the Plaza of Michelangelo. And uh, just in just a second. And so that's what it looks like at night. I am the view. No, you're not. It looks beautiful. It's all of the look out of what Florence is, all the statues. That's actually a church. Like I said, it's a lookout. And if you look that way, that's a church as well. It's just a lookout of the whole city of um, Florence. And if you look that way, Oops, over there, that's the famous bridge that we were on last night, so, yep, we're here at this lookout, and this is a better lookout of what we're looking at right now, like I said, if you look to that side, it's, so this is a copy of the original statue of Michelangelo. So that's why this plaza is named La Piazza, La Piazza de, Ma de Le Michelangelo. Alright guys, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's um, about 2 o'clock in the morning and I'm about to start editing this vlog. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs Excuse me, give this video a thumbs up and like, comment, subscribe. I'm doing this for you guys um, and also for myself to be able to take a look back at this and you know sometime and say you know what I went to Europe and I got to vlog this experience not only that not everybody gets the saying that they can go to the other side of the world and get to experience you know Europe Rome um, Florence we're gonna go to Siena next I don't know if we're gonna go to Paris now because of everything that's been happening around the world but we'll see what happens but thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.